Hi, Aaron E. Kendis. Maybe you started to notice uh, a little bit of a, a hum, just kind of a ringing in the ears. The repeated exposure just from walking around out here really adds up. Here's some things to remember. The next stop is 49th Street. Moving around is a noisy process. Um, it's pretty loud. <laughs> it's hard to have conversations with people sometimes. We have time for a quick interview. We'll hear the next train before we see it. Usually my commute consists of me putting my headphones in and ignoring as many people as possible and trying to block out the noise. New York is not known for being quiet. Cue the siren. So at the maximum we're at 97. That's Dr. Seth Weibel. He has an app on his phone that measures sound. His specialty is audiology. A doctor of hearing is good at listening. We meet outside his office. On West 57th Street, there's another siren. This is just normal... You know, constant um, sound, right? It's, uh, it's what we live with. Some researchers at NYU have just published a new study that says excessive noise from subway systems has health risks, including hearing loss. They found levels in some New York City stations exceeding recommendations from environmental protection agencies and the World Health Organization. As the subway passes, we're around 85. 90, 85. The hair cells weaken, so they're really kind of like shrinking from that noise trauma. It's easier to talk to the doctor inside the office. He has a model ear. The best thing that anyone can do is you know, use active noise cancellations, use headphones, use AirPods, something that actively eliminates the noise. Just walking outside in the city hits 80 decibels. A subway ride itself can peak at 80. So yes, covering uh, the ear can uh, really help. Uh, noise reduction headphones or earbuds. You want to look for a noise reduction rating, an NRR. The higher, the better, because those are tested in a laboratory. The researchers from NYU said it really all comes down to station design and infrastructure, too. And the MTA uh, is on board with that. The new trains are quieter, and new tracks, new track design help uh, bring down the volume and reduce some of the risk. In Midtown, Greg Mocker, Pix 11 News.